Now, today's guest has been a fixture on the cobbles for a whopping like 35 her. years, clocking up seven weddings to five different women, as we just mentioned. Uh, sounds like he belongs on this panel, actually. <laughs> and can you believe 20 years have passed since his most dramatic set of nuptials, which have been unfolding on ITV3? <laughs> oh, that's not her dad! Shut up, I'm warning you. Oh, you're warning me, are you? Why are you warning me? You're going to tell everyone who the real father is? Is that what you're warning me? We know who it is. What's the matter with you? No, you don't. You just think you do. Shut dead. up! Because this is who the real father is. Bridegroom. Steve. Not Roy Cropper. Well, aren't you? Go on, tell her. What did you just say? Nothing, honey. She's just going now. What did she say? I said, Steve, that you're marrying is the baby's father. You lying little. Well, then why don't you ask him, Karen? Go on. Oh, classic Corey here to tell us more about his ups and downs on the street. Please welcome actor Simon Gregson. <laughs> Come down the stairs, or do I stay? We were playing your song. Did you not hear it there? That this is your song. We're singing. What song? Again. Hey! <laughs> What's the significance of this song? So Simon and I both used to have boats on Lake Windermere. Ooh! And, and we used to. And so, well, what, Very before famous. I did, but Simon had a boat, and, and I used to go up and spend time in it, and we used to stay on the boat together. Mm. And one night we got very, very drunk, the pair of us, and we stayed up all night, and it, it, the mist, it was just beautiful. And at five o'clock in the morning, we started playing this, and we were waltzing on the back of his boat as this sailing yacht sort of went past, just, and we were like, just... morning! Morning. Emerged in the mist, this boat, didn't the it? Mist. And ah. they kind of looked at us like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Eileen and Steve. Like, <laughs> we're like, morning! <laughs> we're quite we just dropped anchor in the middle of Lake Windermere and stayed up all night. Oh. Not a euphemism. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was noses. So, noses. There was 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 noses. So do you think you've got another wedding in you on the street then? That, I hope other... not. No, I mean, no. flipping it. You said they take ages, don't they? They take film? forever, don't they? Oh, yeah. those scenes, they're endless. They take days and, and days. And always days. filmed in the winter. Yeah, no, oh, I really? know. You know what? When I was talking to the. Because to, you have a researcher who rings you, you know, to ask you questions and things. And it suddenly dawned on me when I, was, when I was answering this particular question that, of course, they film it in the winter. It must be cheaper to hire the set. To set, yes. yes. So, the yeah, venue. so they're very tight is the reason why. <laughs> I was going to say as well, whatever's happened to Saran Jones, we've seen now of her, haven't we, since uh, <laughs> Curry? Where's she gone? Anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. yeah, it's a shame. Yeah, I'm more frightened of uh, Karen than I am of Tracy. Yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. Yeah. So, when did you two all meet then? What's the kind of. Were you in first? Yeah, I was yeah. in first, 89, I was Simon in. Simon was in 89. I went in 90. Six, I think it was. Right. Okay. I was pregnant when I left. We were just saying because but nothing to oh, do with Simon. Nothing to do with Simon. <laughs> <laughs> just, just... I, 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 I came it in two thousand one. Soon... You came in two thousand one, just as I, I was leaving. But Matty, who well, what, the, my Matty is thirty four now. He was eleven when he was an extra in it when we did the first live episode for the fortieth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Louis was. I was pregnant with Louis behind the bar, and your boy's just about to do his driving test. And, and Elliot, it's so unbelievable that no, time is gone. That was too quick, yeah. far too quick, yeah. crazy. But we had some laughs. Yeah. yeah. yeah we did. did you Mostly have seen together, though? Oh, we have. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, we're, 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 we work together. We're in the taxi office. Yeah, we've always worked very closely. To, I mean, we could tell you some stories of what we get up to in there. I know, we, Simon? yeah. But why don't you tell them, Simon? Well. <laughs> What happened was... They've <laughs> all got very coy, haven't they? They've got very quiet. Yeah. Uh, well, I remember the first day I met you and broke yeah, wind. Yeah, yes, 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 yeah. yes, that's it's it. Kind of... I said, let's get it out of the way. Let's just... <laughs> how, let's move forward, how yeah. are we going to... I didn't cop it or anything. No, just no. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, what about, what about... Should we tell them about our famous book? Yeah, so there's a book. So there was a book... But basically, it could get quite boring in, in between scenes, so you have to, like, you know, keep yourself occupied. Mentally, you know, you have to be very careful where you go. So I found a book and decided to write absolute awful obscenities about Sue in it 
And then, and poems, I remember. Poems. And then Drawings. Sue, of, of course, jumped completely on the bandwagon and uh, yeah. so wrote we'd things write about me. So we terrible things, drawings by a, a picture of Simon by Sue, age seven. And then one day we... <laughs> so no one knew what was in this book. And then one day we opened it and at the back, it was clear the producer at the time had written, see me. <laughs> <laughs> but then the book went missing. The book has gone missing. Because they do tours, so people from Canada well, would come and stuff like that yeah. and we'd take them around the set. And obviously, not knowing, like, why would you? We're, like, flicking through the book going, Sue's a what? <laughs> and then uh, Simon has a what now? <laughs> and um, oh, the book missing. went missing. Oh, so whether that's, that's in Canada it. somewhere. Now, when you first look. went to Corrie, it was just for a year's contract, wasn't it? When you first started? Yeah, it's always for a year. They contract. always lure us in with the year's yeah. contract. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's year by look, year. Look at you there. Oh, I know. Wow. I'll tell you, if they had a camera in the, in the green room, because my three boys are with me, that's Harry. Oh, well, really? It's, it's that a mix of all of them, but. I think, because yeah. Harry's 14, it's, it's a bit an image of him. Yeah. So they've just grown up, obviously, with you being Steve McDonald. Yeah, yeah. It's they've very different, show, though, Simon, isn't it? not them, they don't care. It's very different, and I heard, I've, I've heard you say before that when we were in it, at, you know, before any other channels were available, there was, like, 21 million people sometimes for a big storyline yeah, watching yeah, that. Yeah. And it was all, you know, you were, you were incredibly... Famous, mm. at the, incredibly. Now you said, but everyone in Manchester's famous <laughs> because they're Instagram famous, yeah. they're TikTok famous, they're reality famous. Yeah. It's different, isn't it? Now it was very different. You know, in the very early nineties in Manchester, you know, it, it, there wasn't that many famous people knocking about unless you were a footballer or, you know, of course, the whole music scene was was coming yeah. alive around about that time. So it was a bit of a shock for people, you know, mm. to see someone off the TV. They didn't really handle it very well. Uh, but that's another story entirely. <laughs> And, um, I mean, it's so fair to it say you weird. had some difficult times, didn't you? That people it was would shocking. come up to you. I mean, I remember in certain storylines, you'd have people come up and, and, and try and beat you up in yeah, the street. Yeah, oh, yeah, I've been beaten up many times, yeah. In, in the first ten years, yeah. it was shocking. I, I was in wow. hospital, with a baseball bat around my head, just walking really? down the road. Really? Yeah. Just for walking yeah. down the road? Because they didn't like your character? Yeah. Right. Well, there was they a took lot it of that very going on. They yeah. really yeah. believe in the characters, though, don't they? Oh, yeah. I mean, one of the most famous ones was. Uh, Alan Bradley, was that right? Alan Bradley, Alan Bradley yeah. yeah, Rita's, Alan Bradley, Rita's yeah. domestic he, he violence. He walked out like. of uh, what was then stage <clears throat> one, the old studios, and got beaten up by an old woman with an umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> Leave Rita alone! <laughs> like that, it's not real. Oh, God. But yeah, it was, it was bizarre. Well, listen, you've got was obviously millions of fans who absolutely love you. I mean, mm -hmm. God, it's frightening to hear that. But people have been getting in touch and they're desperate to know from the three of you, and we've got to be quick. Favourite storyline ever? Simon, you go first. Oh, I, you know what? I think that one of the most favourite times was when... Was, was, was always the cab office, especially mm -hmm. when Craig was in. Yeah. Because in, in those times, the, 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 the more silly you were, the more they liked it. Yeah. We got away yeah, with we murder, got away didn't with we? Murder. Yeah. So I guess that particular period, which was me, Sue and Craig, it was yeah. just What about you, great. Sue? I think one that stands out is uh, Todd, the coming out story, because I think it had such an impact on young gay men, and I'm, I'm really proud to have been a part of that storyline, definitely. Mm. I think for me, because it was so unique to go in and break up the Webster marriage, which at the time, <laughs> you know, I was a character that people love to hate, and it's much more fun to play a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Surely not being in the roses as well was there. It was quite a good, a good day. When you work in the to work with? It's a one-word uh, answer. I, just uh, what myself, just one yeah. person seems. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's a lot easier that Best way. Best person to work with, yeah. Simon, do we agree? Oh, on occasions, he's all right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we had some laughs. Oh, Simon, it's been great to have you. Simon Gregson, everyone. Yeah.